a push to create a statewide air ambulance program is flying through the legislature. Lawmakers and first responders say this is much needed, especially for neighbor island residents. Personal story after story from neighbor island lawmakers. We had a, a community leader who had a health incident at a conference for health care in front of nearly 400 people, and it took him almost seven or eight hours to get medevac to Kapi'olani, and we know... A young girl fell out of Maku'u Cliff, and if this helicopter was available, her life would have been saved. Part of the governor's legislative package is a push to create a statewide air ambulance program. The measure would bring twin engine helicopters to the Big Island, Kauai and Maui County. One version of the bill would make the program completely state owned and financed under the Department of Health. The Department of Health would contract out probably to set up a dispatch system. So when there's a county request that comes through for medical evacuation, fire suppression, search and rescue, law enforcement, um, a central, state central dispatch will um, send uh, rotary aircraft. Global Medical Response owns and operates Hawaii's only aeromedical service and currently operates Maui's medevac service, but some say it's not enough. On, you know, the aspect of medical transport, um, we've seen some delays um, for some really critical patients. Some of these patients on the neighbor islands can wait three, six hours, 12 hours. So those are the kinds of situations that we're looking at as a redundant service. If Hawaii Life Flight is not available, that we would have a backup system. The DOH says standing up a facility would cost over 236000 for staffing, $5 million per year for fuel, among other costs like hangar space. Currently, the DOH says Kauai has no air assets. The Big Island was donated a twin-engine helicopter arriving next year, and Maui County does have a medevac system. The program would be a cooperation between the counties who would administer it and the state who would subsidize it. The bill passed its third reading yesterday and it moves on to conference committee hearings next.